Hey guys, it's Aubrey and I am actually in Spartanburg, South Carolina today. And what we're going to go over, we're going to go over your normal stats, facts, and places to live. So let's get to it. I'm Aubrey and they have grown to separate locations to tell you the overall facts and facts of that. We're standing on the Swamp Rabbit Trail right now. So, <laughs> wait a second, I'm falling. <laughs> All right, guys, so Spartanburg, South Carolina. What do we need to know about Spartanburg? Honestly, it's been here for a long time. Uh, most importantly, and what I've researched a lot about, is there were several revolutionary war battles around here that were very important in shaping our country. Um, most importantly, there was a battle out in Cowpens that was fought and that kind of brought this area um, some more stability as time went on. Now, uh, Spartanburg has been known in the past as more of a hub city. Now, why is it a hub city? Uh, basically, all of these railways just came into Spartanburg and there's a railroad museum here in Spartanburg. You want to check it out. And this area is very diverse in the people that are here. Uh, there's about 40,000 people that actually live in Spartanburg City. And then there's about 200,000 people that live in about in Spartanburg County. So we're just to the north of Greenville County and a little bit smaller, but the area is going through a renaissance. It's changing and it's super cool. It's something that I think when we're looking at these areas, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you pay attention to Spartanburg. All right, so the next thing you need to know is kind of the facts of the area, the places that you will want to visit, show up and basically find out about. Now, one of the facts about Spartanburg is that it is a college town. You have, honestly, you have Upstate, you have uh, Wofford, you have Converse. Uh, there's a couple other smaller uh, universities in, in the area. Sherman is one of them. And you'll want to just know that they're here because sometimes traffic gets a little bit more. Other things that you'll want to know about Spartanburg. Uh, places that are fun to hang out. So you have the freight yard, you have Hub City ice cream. Um, really cool, they do an ice cream flight. So make sure you check that out. Um, also around Spartanburg, there's a lot to know. Uh, as you drive into Spartanburg, you'll see the big peach water tower come up in Gaffney. And then there's also a place called Holly Wild. It's a great place to take the kids and, or yourself if you just like animals. And it's a petting zoo that you stay in your car and you drive through. So super cool about that. Um, other places that you'll want to check out, definitely the small coffee shops and then um, this wall right behind me. Uh, so the love where you live wall is definitely uh, something that a lot of people want to know about more of the artwork. They want to know more about the city. So that's just a few things about Spartanburg. Hope that helps. So 
finally, places to live, Spartanburg. And I get asked that a lot, like, Aubrey, what are the best neighborhoods? And honestly, I think what we run into the most is people want to know, okay, am I looking at a historical area or am I looking at um, a brand new community? Um, or what's the most desirable? Where do, um, I, I get this question a lot too, where do families want to live? And I'm a realtor, I can't tell you exactly what's family friendly or where people want to live, but I can tell you what the most desirable neighborhoods are. So one of the more desirable neighborhoods around Spartanburg is Converse Heights. And with that, I mean, it's just very established and people want to be there. Other neighborhoods that are established, that have been around for a while, you have Fernwood, Wadsworth Hills, um, then you also have Hampton Heights, so we have that. And then at the same time you have the Grain District and uh, South Converse. Now, of all of these neighborhoods, the uh, neighborhood at Hampton Heights is the oldest neighborhood here in Spartanburg. Um, the Grain District is really going, um, I mentioned earlier that the uh, Spartanburg area is going through a renaissance time right now. The Grain District is going through a renaissance in the homes there. Um, homes are getting uh, flipped, they're getting remodeled. Um, you have new construction going in. And so it's really important to kind of pay attention to, okay, what are these? homes like? Uh, do you want to be in an area that is, um, I guess, more historical? And you're going to pay a little bit more for that. Uh, so those are the areas that I would say look into those neighborhoods. And if I can help you out, I would love to be your real estate resource here in the upstate of South Carolina. Me and my team would love to talk to you more about the area. Uh, feel free to email us call us and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to these videos. Thanks. Yeah.